All right, hello, you crazy people out there. This is Dragonite Spam, and welcome back to another one of these Game Maker tutorial video programming episode, whatever they are. Uh, sorry, it's once again been a little while since I made one of these. This time, the official excuse is me being at Magfest and not having time to record this, and not having the brains to work ahead like I have with some other projects. Anyway, this time I'm going to be talking about these things called blend modes. This isn't, if I may use this word choice, anything that's game changing, but they can have nice little effects on your sprites graphically that you can apply through code instead of having to actually change the sprites in Photoshop and things like that. And to see what I mean, I'm going to just run this little example that I invented a little while ago. And over here, uh, you see that there's a normal sprite. Uh, this is the default. This is just a dragon on a background of like clouds or something like that. And these are a couple of the different blend modes you can use. And obviously, as you can see, some of them look better than others. Um, this one makes it completely white or almost completely white, depending on uh, what the colors in question will be. Uh, this one's inverted it. This one's made it completely black. This one's an odd sort of blend of something in between that doesn't look that great. But as you can probably see, there's a bunch of different things you can do on this. Uh, you might have heard of blend modes if you use Photoshop a lot. <clears throat> and what they basically do is they take the color of the sprite in question, uh, each pixel in the sprite when it's uh, displayed on the screen, when it's drawn on the screen, and the color of whatever is behind it, so in this case the picture of the cloudy background, and they do some math on those colors to give you something different. So as you've probably heard before, every different color that's represented on computers um, has three components, uh, hue, saturation, and luminosity. Uh, hue, saturation, brightness, hue, saturation, value, you might have heard them also called. I'm seeing the computer like freeze on me and that's a little weird. You might have also heard of red, blue, and green components, and that's something different. That serves different purposes in computer graphics. That has more to do with things like the monitor and how it displays the colors on the screen with the uh, light emitting diodes, whatever it happened to be using. God forbid cathode rays. But the blend modes do math on different components of those components. That was a bad word choice. But the blend modes do math on the different components of the color, and they will alter the sprite that results or the picture that results or. Uh, even if you use something that isn't a sprite, like if you do a draw rectangle on the screen, uh, it'll alter that based on the parameters. Um, normal is obviously normal. Um, additive blending mode is taking the brightness, uh, the luminosity of the color behind it, and the luminosity of the sprite and adding them together. So it's probably going to give you something very close to white uh, because it'll be very bright. And as you can see in this case, uh, the yellow dragonite plus the light blue uh, clouds is given a completely white picture. If you had something else, if you had like, I don't know, thinking of a dark colored Pokemon, if you, had, if you had like a Gothitelli over maybe these darkish clouds, it would look more colorful, maybe something more like this. Subtractive blending, on the other hand, as you can probably guess if you don't already know, it takes the color of the black, it takes the brightness of the background and the brightness of the, uh, the object in question, the sprite, the rectangle, whatever it happens to be, and it subtracts the brightness of the sprite from the brightness of the background. Thank God I was able to say that in the right order. And as you can see, it gives a much darker looking appearance, and uh, it's pretty much more or less uh, inverted colors right here. And I actually think this looks pretty cool. This is probably my favorite blending mode. Because of the way it handles transparency, it doesn't do a very good job with that, but the inverted colors look pretty cool. Uh, if you're not worrying about transparency, that could uh, have a nice little effect. Uh, Max, this takes the brightness of the, uh, the sprite in question and the brightness of the background, and whichever has the higher luminosity, it uses that. So in places where the Dragonite color would be brighter, it's going to use that, and in places where the uh, the background is brighter, it's going to use that. So pretty much for all points around the sprite, the brightness, the background is brighter, so it uses that value, and it looks uh, kind of funny. I kind of like that one too, now that I think about it. Uh, down here, there are more complex operations that you can uh, do with these, and I'm not going to talk about those quite now, quite yet. Instead, I'm just going to close this program and go into here. Is this where I want to go? No, this is just, uh, <clears throat> that's just the room that I, like, dumped all the objects. Okay, so here, uh, in this object, it's simple blending mode. You're going to set it off by just saying, quite simply, draw set blend mode, and whatever that happens to be. In this case, blend mode is defined in the room. This is done in the, uh, the instance creation code, so I don't have to have 5 million objects with uh, just simply different blending modes. And then what you want to do is uh, call whatever draw operation you are looking for, whether that happens to be a draw sprite at a position, or draw self, or draw a rectangle, or whatever. Uh, and then when you're done, just set it back to normal so that anything you draw in the future doesn't look funny. 
And that's pretty much it. This here is just the text that I draw um, underneath it, telling what blend mode it happens to be. Uh, global.bm names is just a nice little array with a, a bunch of names in them. And that's it. Admittedly, this is very situational. And as you can see in this example, if you're not careful about it, it can look pretty funny. You can also, and I think this is something that was introduced in Game Maker Studio, you couldn't do this before, but you also have a blend mode extended. And this is going to take two different blend modes. What this function does is it takes the color of the background and the color of the thing being drawn and it multiplies them by some factor. That factor being whatever you happen to, to decide to give it here. And then when it's finished, it adds them together. And if you're interested in the specifics, um, you can actually go in the manual, uh, look at blend modes uh, real quick, and it will describe for you what it does. So the factor could be zero, it could be one. Uh, these aren't especially useful probably, but you can still use them. It could be the color of the source. It could be the opposite of the color of the source, uh, which will give you the funny inverted look. It could be the, uh, the transparency of the source or destination. Uh, I'm not going to just go and read all of those off the page. You can go and mess around with them, experiment them, find out what you like if you want. And also now that I actually think about it, there should be a picture somewhere in here. There it is, here it is, right below this chart. And this will give you a little example of how the different blend modes will look, depending on how you combine them. Obviously some of them still look better than others. Some of them look kind of ghostly, some of them look kind of... I'm not exactly sure what to call this, some of them are like completely black or completely transparent. But that's besides the point. I could go into the math of how this works. I could do like an example of taking the different color channels and the transparency channel, uh, alpha channel rather as it's more technically called, and showing how the game ends up on the output. But I somehow think if I did that I would be boring people. Uh, this video is intended to be showing how to use these things and explain a little bit what they do and not so much the math behind it. If you don't want to see the math behind it, uh, let me know and I could make a video on that too. But that is blend modes. They are simple to use for sure. Uh, they could make your sprites look very good or very mm, interesting, I'll say that much. Um, I will put this project file up for download. I still think it's weird when I say that, up for download. Uh, available for download in the video description. Um, should you want to use that, you can take this, take the sprites, change the sprites, change the background, do a bunch of all, uh, different things. Uh, you can change the blend modes that it uses and see what you happen to like based on whatever sprite you happen to be using. You could use these to give, like, I don't know, your main character different effects when you go and get hit and take damage and stuff like that. You could make them flash, like, inverted colors or something like that, if you're into that sort of thing. But that is up to you. Uh, for now, I hope you all enjoyed that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch some of the stuff I have uploaded. And I'll still be trying to put up one of these Game Maker-related videos every uh, Saturday-ish. I will see you all later.